people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Today I got to work on the front end a little bit, patch up some parts that were kind of screwed up. Stick around, stay tuned, it should be an interesting episode. I don't think I explained this very well yesterday. This middle piece of the grill, middle piece, goes down in between here and bolts to there. As it goes down, it's always hitting this edge. And I think they did this particular angle to give it strength in case there is a front impact on the bumper. They never took into account that, so they just slammed it in there and then threw some paint on it and called it good. So I'm going to round this out, and by shoring up all of this, it takes the place of some of the strength from what I'm going to take away. So I have to take this out because there's a big, huge bend in it and I gotta fix it and it's kind of in the way so when I do the grinding I don't want to screw it up so I'm gonna take that out Joey and I yesterday put some gussets on this to help finish that body line kind of look even though this is gonna be covered I still want it to be cool but now I'm gonna take another piece and go down from the top and then flatten it down you know finish the gusset so anyway I'll get this stuff done and then I'll show you what I'm doing Okay, kids, a little bit of update here. The other side looked like this, how there was this little gap in here. The reason we left that open is so the bolts can go through, blah, blah, blah. I said I was going to fill this in, and that's what I did on this side. Now it's one continuous piece. Let me get my shadow out of the shot. You like that? Meow, nice and swoopy. All right, now I got to do that to this side, and I have a piece cut. I got to form it in, then weld it in, and do the same. Baby. Okay, that side's all done. I got some tape on there marking out where I want to cut away because it's getting hit by the grill. I've done that on both sides. I'm going to remove that material and then I'll come back and show you what's up. Got the pieces cut out nice and round now. And because I took so much out, where's my piece, man? I got this. I'm going to box in this front end. Well, you can't really tell, but it's going to go in there, pretty much. So I'm going to weld that in, and I'll do the other side and give you a look-see, babies. Ooh, what's that? What's that, babies? I put the front end on to see how it fit. And after welding up and grinding my inner cuts, look at that fit, dude. Sweet. Talk about, and I just guessed those too, so I so got lucky. Look at the clearance on that. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I can mock the bumper on. See how that looks. There's a good looking grill. Mounts up good. I don't really have this. I just kind of got it bolted on the top, so it's just sitting there. So it will go back some. But that looks good up front, man. I'll have to paint those parts, blah, 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 and the part underneath that Joey fabricated and I finished up. But uh, it's looking good, dudes. I'll have to sand this down, beat the primer down so I can prep it for some paint, shoot some paint on it. Slap some paint on it after I cleaned it up. It's pretty buff, dudes. Does it look like one piece, man? What I like is this buffed in edge back here, man. Totally gonna like hold that together. Added strength. You know, Joe and I were talking about this. If there ever is a front end accident, man, that thing's gonna like totally help from smashing the front end. Well, people, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I gotta let the paint dry, chill out till tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some sanding while it's raining. Thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace.